Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go over Google Forms. Specifically, we're going to go over the method of how to add signatures to a Google Form so that basically anyone who answers your Google Form can sign it. Now, this is really great for when you need an authorized signature from any of your respondents, or maybe even from someone on your team who needs to sign some certain documents. So, let's just get straight into it. Right now, I am going to create a template, so let's just choose from the template gallery. And I'm going to create an RSVP Google form. So I've selected it. And as you can see, it's just like some gener generic questions. So the thing about adding signatures to Google forms is that it comes from a specific add on, meaning you do have to download and grant access to the add on from the add on marketplace. So let's just head over to the upper right corner where we're going to hit the three dot button, scroll to the bottom and hit add ons. As you can see, we're in the Google Workspace Marketplace, and we are interested in finding a signature add-on. And as we you can see here, we have this signature add-on where people can basically create signatures. So let's just install this, hit continue. And once you hit continue, it'll bring you to this page where they're basically going to ask for permission to do all these things, connect, view, and see, and edit on any of your Google Forms. And if you're happy with their stipulations, you can just hit allow down here. And from here, it's already been installed. Okay, so let's just head back to our Google form. And as you can see, if you were to head over to the add-ons button over here in the top right, you can see that we do have this signature add-on now already installed. So let's just hit that, hit start. And from here, we're just gonna need to log in so that we can utilize this feature. As you can see, the signature add-on allows at least 10 signatures, meaning you can collect 10 signatures. So in this case, let's just start adding signatures to it. Now, in order for it to start collecting signatures, you need a existing Google Sheet that's already connected to this account. So let's just hit Google Sheets, create a new response sheet, and it'll bring us right here. So now we have a record for all the answers and questions, and this is where our signatures will be saved. So now that we have a Google Sheet up, let's just head back to our Google form, and then we're gonna mess around with the signature tab on the bottom right. So we're gonna wanna collect multiple signatures, not just one, so let's just hit submit after enabling multiple signatures. And I see it's gonna start accepting signatures from respondents. So let's allow, it's creating, Okay, and we're good. Okay, so a question has now appeared on the bottom here where it's going to ask for the signature. And basically, it's going to allow them to add the signature. So let's just test the link ourselves so that we ourselves can see how our signature will work. So every time they select the link on the Google form, they're going to be brought to a similar here page here. And once they've hit the show signature page, a new page will pop up like this where they can start adding their signature. So in this case, we can just create a random squiggle, save it, finished adding signatures, confirm. And then we can return to form. Copy and then return to form. And then you can paste the copied link right here. Now this link will be the identification link and the link used to access the signature. And then you can just answer all the questions as is. Submit. And if we were to look at the RSVP page, this is where the signature is. And if we want to access it, all we gotta do is hit it. And we have their signature right here. And that's all you really have to say about it. Hopefully this helps you better manage your data collection. Thanks so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to Google Forms, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.